hi guys welcome back to my channel so on this video i'll be showing us how i made this lovely booboo -boo dress so just stick around when we start drafting <laughs> So guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my my fabric in into four. So this is my fabric like this. So I'm going to fold it like this and I'll fold it again. That's into four because I'm going to cut out the front and the back together. So after after arranging it like this, I'll fold it again. That's into four places. So I've done it already. So this is what we we are having. So so my fabric is folded into four as you can see. Because I want to cut out the front and the back together at once. So I'm trying to arrange it. So guys, I'm going to add this fringe to my to my um, booboo -boo dress. So I'm going to my I'm going to mark out how many inches my fringe is. So the fringe I'm working with is 20 inches. So I'm just going to measure it now so we can just see how, how long my fringe is. So as you can see, it's 20 inches. So I'm going to minus 20 inches from my full length. So after minusing 20 inches from my full length, I have 38 inches left. So I'm going to mark out 30 inches for my fabric. So my fabric will be 30 inches, then my fringe will be 20 inches. So I will have my full length in total. I'm going to mark out like this. That's my full. That's my full length after my knotting my fringe. From so it. the next thing I'm about to do is to take out my neckline. So I'm on this fat boob, I'm using three, three point five. Then for the depth, I'm using one point five for the for the for the back. So I'm cutting out my my back neckline first. So I'm using three by three point five by one point five. First, I'll cut out, I'll cut out my, my back neckline first. So I'll take out my shoulder measurement. So my shoulder my shoulder measurements divided by two. So I'll mark it out there. From that, my shoulder measurement, I'll take out my sleeve length. So on this, for this people, I'm taking I'm using 12 inches for my for my sleeve length. And I'll mark out like this. So the next step is I'll take my shoulder to both points, like so. Just the way you are seeing me do on the video. Then after that, I'll, I'm just going to chuck it out and I'll take my shoulder to waist. Although we don't need a waist measurement, but I'm just going to take it out because we are going to use it for something else. So from now, my shoulder to waist, I'll come down by 10 inches from my hip line. I'm just going to, I'm just showing us again. I took my shoulder to bust point like so. I took my shoulder to waist like so and I, and I mark out. That's the way you see me do. So for my waistline, I'll come down by 10 inches to mark my waist to hip like so. So I'm going to mark out like this. So this is what I have. Shoulder to bust point, shoulder to waist. And I came down from my waistline to take my hip, waist to hip line like so. And I'll mark out. So guys, so the next step you're about to do is our take our, our measurement so you use the fullest part of your body to mark out your to, to, to take out your measurement so for me my hip is the fullest part so i'm going to divide my hip by four and i'll add five inches to it so if yours is your boss so you divide your boss by four and add five inches and and this five inches is not standard so you can add three you can add two it depends on how big or how oversized you want your bubble to be so I'm, after marking it out, you rule it down to, you rule, you take that measurement down to your gown length, to your bubble length, like you're seeing me do so. So the next step is you, on your shoulder line, like this, you come down by two inches. So we're trying to create our slope. You can come down by two inches or by 1.5. And you connect it to your neckline like this. Just the way your CV connects. So it can be 1.5 or 1 or 2 inches. But for me, I went down by 2 inches. So on this your boss point line, you come down by 2 inches and you connect like this with your curve ruler. Connect like this with your curve ruler, like this, like this, like this. Yes.
so this is it so after that we are basically done for our dress so i'm about to cut it out so i'm not showing you that we have four pieces because we're cutting the front and back together so i'm going to cut out everything together like this first before we move to the front design so i'm putting out the neckline so from the neckline i'll move to the shoulder slope like this so i'm done cutting out so i'm going to remove the front the back face sorry i'm removing the back face so i'm left with now one piece so i'll bring a fresh paper like a paper to draft out this tie this tie on the neckline so my paper will be on food and i'll place it like so so i'll cut out my neckline like this and i'll open the paper like so and i'll mark out the midpoint so from this other length from this other side i'll come down by nine inches I'll come down by nine inches like this or eight and a half like this so and from that piece i came down i'll come in by two inches from the midpoint like so and i'll connect using my straight ruler to my neckline like this so i'll connect here to here like this using my curve ruler and connect like this so i'll cut it out and show us what we have so from this other side, I will come, I'll go out by five inches from the neck line, on the shoulder line. I'll come out by five inches on both of, on both sides of my shoulder line, and on this on my right hand side, I'll come down by twelve inches. So this is not standard. You can decide on how long you can come up or go down. So for me, I came down by twelve inches on my shoulder line, on my right hand side, like this. And from that 12 inches i came down i will come i'll come out by four inches that's the way you see me do i'll connect it to my straight shoulder like this and i'll extend the line down straight down like this so it's very simple guys so for me guys i'm using so i'm using 23 inches 23 to 25 inches so your own can be 26 27 and depending on how how long you want your stylish this thing to be so from that five inches we came out from our shoulder line i'll connect it to this other side like this with my cobbler like this and we are done so i'll cut it out and show us what we have so guys i'm cutting out our design for the front so i'm done cutting and this is what we have this is what we have so i'll click it on my fabric like so on my front fabric like so and i'll cut out the neckline so i've cut out the neckline like this so we're having this so guys i'm going to cut out this on my fabric so guys i've cut it out on my fabric i use a plain fabric for it just as you can see so i'm i turn my main fabric to the right wrong side and i place this design the right side facing the wrong side of my fabric this design is right side so the right side of this design will face the wrong side of my fabric so this design i'm using i'm using a door piece for it so you can use crepe or, or chicago is that what they call it for it so for me, I'm using a dolphin for it. So guys, I'm going to sew it like this on the neckline using my sewing allowance that I gave. So I gave half inches. So like I said, right side, wrong side facing each other. So I'll sew by half inch like so. So I'm done sewing it. As you can see, I sew by half inch because I gave it half inch. And I, opened, and I cut out this place so that my V can be sharp. So I also decided to put in half half inch like this and I iron it like so all around. So I fold in half inch and I iron like this all around. So it will be easier for me to sew, sew on top of it. 
so after that i'm going to turn it to the right side like i said guys my fabric is wrong side facing me while the door face is right side facing the wrong side of the fabric you get so i'll turn it to the right side like this as you can see me do so guys i've turned it to the right side as you can see it's looking good so i'm trying to arrange it so i'm going to sew like this like so all throughout like that i'm going to sew it like that sew it like this like this very close like that after sewing it like that i'll iron it after ironing it i will sew my sleeve like i'll fold it in and i'll sew it so you can use a bias or you can just fold it in you can fold it twice so i'll do it on the both side of my sleeve for the front so after after for, after doing that for the front i will move to the back i'll repeat the same thing i will sew it i'll fold, use a bias or you just fold, fold the fabric two times and i'll sew on the both side and i will do i will use my bias for my neckline before I join my shoulder slope together, my shoulders together. So I'll, I'll use my bias to turn out this my neckline for the back. Uh, this this sleeve the same thing like that. The my both sleeve for front and back. I'll use it and do it. So I'll use my bias and fold it in. So after doing that, I'm going to sew in. So join my shoulders together. I'll join my shoulders together like this. So after joining my shoulders together, my both shoulders together, I'll sew my bodice. So, so guys, I use you remember that I added five inches to my to this dress. So I'm going to remove one inch from it. So I'll sew it by one inch on both sides. I reach the end of the dress. I'll after sewing it, sewing it in on both sides. So I'll iron on short what we have. So I've done that. I've sewed everything like I just said. So I've turned it to the right side, I've ironed it. So it's time to add our fringe to our... So guys, before you add your fringe, make sure that you fold in your Emmy allowance or you weave it. So after doing that, you bring your your fringe and place it the way you're seeing me placing it like this. You see how I'm placing it? You place it like that. Like so. And you sew on top of it you see what i'm doing guys i'm just trying to arrange it so it can, it can be clear for us so i'll sew it like that after sewing it in it's going to fall up fall up like this so that is how i attach my fringe to my dress so after doing that we are done for the dress and this is what we are having so thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time in my video please subscribe and share my videos i love you bye